traded to Battlefield. So we got ourselves the team of Sosa, Reslip, Jose Six, and on the blue team we've got Mr. LZ and the man himself behind Project M. Strong, Strong bad. Adam. Yeah. yeah. And we actually see a couple of interesting things going on at first. Um, Sosa immediately started off with a side B, just like saying, I am willing to call you out and just do something dumb and see how you react to it. Sure. So he's trying to establish like himself as a threat rider on. And then Mr. L's, on the other hand, just immediately gimps to the six. Yeah. Reslip just loses the stock really early, but there goes Strong, Strong Bet as you. well. So right now, Jose. Uh, Jose. Uh, Sosa is up with the, with the stock lead. I think that's what they're going to want because it's going to give Sosa the opportunity to stay away, stock tank, and build up that wall. Mm -hmm. And doubles, that is such an important thing to do. But yeah. Strong Bad not letting it happen calls him out, tells him, you could do that move, I made that move. Yeah. Um, the waft is just a guaranteed kill setup once you get it. So since it is on a timer base, the longer you survive, the more chances you get to use it. Yes. So. And Wario being the fatty that he is, he's going to live yeah. quite some time. Game & Watch does have some killing power behind him. So, you know, it's, um, it's not that big of a big a deal. Mm -hmm. I think the outlier in, in the set is going to be Ness. Because Ness can get killed early by all of these characters. But the thing about Ness, um, believe it or not, Ness has an okay matchup against Game & Watch. Mm -hmm. Like, Game & Watch is... So, Aki uh, from Washington, Ness player, yeah. is known as the Game & Watch player. He did beat Mr. L's himself mm -hmm. at... Mash and Splash. And I know this Nesses have always give Game & Watches a hard time. I've heard Game & Watch players complain about the matchup quite a few times. And Ness players be positive about the matchup. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I, I don't know how that would how that much would matter in doubles. This is a different environment. Mm -hmm. Ness does not have to win neutral as much as he has to. And that's what he struggles with in singles. Yeah, That's his biggest struggle is that he has, he has to commit to a lot of things. And in doubles, you don't have to commit. You committing does is not as big. Oh my God! You committing is not as big a deal because you have a partner to to cover you when you do decide to commit. Mm -hmm. And I actually, just want to highlight Mr. L's performance this game has been outstanding. Um, not only has he been closing off stocks really well with like well-timed gimps, mm -hmm. but he also is keeping Strong Bad alive. Oh but yeah! Like he's had some recoveries on him where I was like, what can he even do in this situation to save him? And he managed to pull it off seamlessly. Right. So, and he's been gimping Reslib like I'm like a maniac. Yeah, he, like, he's so far the MVP of the match, I think. Oh yeah. There you go. Finishes that off. And like but that, like here's the thing about two v ones. When you're two v one and there's a Wario on the opposing team, my goal is always go beat up that fat, that fatty. Because look at that walk. He's got yep. it. He's got it again. The whole. The whole and he's time, got another one. Yeah. The like, whole he has another stock, too. time that Reslid was trying to take that stock from Mozy, Strong Bad was just chilling, building up that wall. Yeah. And that's that, that's going to make the 2v1 come back even harder. And that's really scary when you know that you don't just have that one stock of Wario to deal with. You have two. There's another one yeah. coming. So they can play it as slow as they want because they get multiple chances. And that's a great victory condition that you just can't take away from them unless he's dead. Right. I'm running it right back. Not sure if I agree with that. Um, like, I didn't think there was something like janky about the way they won. They kind of got outplayed. Yeah, LZ just kind of went in. Um, so, so was just had some bad positioning, and blue team just took advantage of it. Mm -hmm. So, I would have liked to see something different, but you know, maybe they figured out something. Mm -hmm. So, and they, this is a three out of five, I believe. So, they do I have some guess. room mm -hmm. to make a gamble on this. Right. Should be able to close. Oh no, oh. he makes it back. And you know, I, I feel like Ness isn't very happy in this situation Not because, like, you're up against a Wario in a game and watch. Right. Both of those characters can go to town on you mm -hmm. when you're off stage. And, like, the thing about Ness is. He takes a long time to get back on stage. Yeah. And in a doubles environment, that's not good. That's actually no. terrible. Yeah. Because all the whole time you're off stage, your partner's going to be getting 2v1. Mm -hmm. And, like, sometimes you just have to commit to losing the stock. But if you're at 50% off stage, you don't have a choice but to get back. And that's kind of that's kind of bad. That's really bad. And he actually just threw the the off there. Managed to invincibility through all of it. So, what a legend. All right. Strong Bad's dead. Strong yeah. Bad's going to be waiting for a... Another minute before that. Yeah. So that was really good. 
I mean, they're they're still even. Um, so something Wario is kind of susceptible to, without a wob, he is easily get dared by Ness. Nair to dare is a true thing on Wario at high percentages. Really? Because of how floaty he is. Yeah, he can he can uh, ed, he can meteor cancel it pretty easily though. You get back and then you get punished for it. But then you just did another one if you time it correctly. It's a risk, but. It's something and you can do. he does get to confirm on that trade. Yeah. It would have been unfortunate if they got nothing in return and he just survived at 120 percent. But he did get something there, so that's good awareness on Sosa's part. That was good Nair by Sosa. All right, Waste is that Waft. I mean, that did kill the shield. I think he was going for damage. Yeah. Of a kill. Waft might kill Gaming Watch at like 60%. I'm honestly not sure. Off Game the top, like if he gets the, the going up or just hitbox, I can see general, that happening. Yeah, I just think just in general. You think off the side too? Yeah, Gaming Watch is very light character. Oh, Waft is one of the strongest moves in the game. Oh, he gets the double. The double, oh my gosh, strong, bad. Comes to play today. Yeah, it's not as bad as last time, but it's still a a significant lead that they have yeah. about a stock and a half. So it's a job reset down smash. Oh no. Alright, Strong Bad kills LZ. I don't think that's a big deal because he was already like at hundred hundred plus. Yeah it would have been worse if Strong Bad was the one who died, but this is okay. Good stage resisting by Sosa. And a very good sequence there. Racked up a lot of yeah, damage. So Sosa's putting himself in a position where he's fending off one of the, the blue team and then also, at the same time, calming, calming the other one. Mm -hmm. And okay. that's exactly what he wants to do as Wario. Oh, wow, that's. Oh my god, that turtle. Okay, oh. gets the Oh, nobody gets res lift too. That's you know, this is rough, but it's doable. It's do it's, yeah, definitely. It's Wario. He's not gonna die. Oh, I mean, it's gonna be difficult to kill him. And then he's going to be building up that WAP, like I said. But there I it is. He, I was about to ask, like, how long was it since he last did it? And I think it was the one that got the double kill, so. Oh, my Okay, God. he wastes it. Yeah. So that that's a. All right, there goes Strong Man. Hope there. Definitely. Okay, doable. where's the combo? Because he, he's at a good percent. Like, he can get a good sequence into an up air. You know, if he gets a good clap on him. I think he's just waiting. Waiting it out. That WAP should be there at around 345. I'm. Okay, there we go. Oh. No, oh, that was beautiful. Sosa. That was a really good sequence. I did not expect that at all. I, I mean, either. That was amazing. I figured he was going to try and throw him back onto the stage and try to force an awkward recovery. But he but calls that, yeah. and he's just like. That was really sick. Yeah, I, that I was, was a great mind yeah. game. I really like that. So 1-1. One, one. I almost was going to say they're down a game. Where yeah. do you think they should go? But. Sosa making me eat my words. SoCal legend himself. Come the on. man did not crack. Yeah, never. Oh, yo, shout out, shout out the two people, the two groups of people who brought all the TVs and all the weeks. Shout out to the Adri bros. And who's the other people? New Mexico brought like seven TVs. New Mexico brought like seven TVs. Oh, yeah, that's right. What? But yeah, the rate, the... Adger Brothers, Ray J and um, Julius. Julius. Casino Wolf and a Frodo. bunch of CRTs. A and lot. New Mexico brought like 17 Wii's. Seven. So, shout out to those guys. So, I want to give a quick shout out to SAK Gaming. They brought a lot of TVs as well. I think mostly for the melee setup, though. But yeah. still, they've, uh, been, they've helped out the community a lot. I saw at least 13 wow. from them. Yeah. And we're going back to Battlefield. Running back. No, I like to see this. I'm a big Battlefield fan, so. Sure. Very good stage for all these characters, actually. It's one of the more neutral stages in the game. I think so. Yeah. Um, you know, it's medium-sized, three platforms. You get a lot of room. Mm -hmm. You can show some creativity. But it's nothing overwhelming, so. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's Battlefield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, a really good show of skill. Like, you can see yeah, if you just want to outplay your, your, your opponent, take me. You think you can just beat him with your raw skill? Oh, and this is a good sequence for Sosa. He gets a lot of damage. He throws him off stage. All right, Reslev misses a conversion, though. That was really smart. I like that, that idea. So something I'm not seeing from Reslev, he just reminded me because he did it. I'm not seeing PK fire at <laughs> all. That is a pretty good doubles move because it's going to keep the opponent in position yeah, for it, at it least like space. half a second, and then it creates space. It forces him to either like smash the eye out or roll or 
or get punished. And if you pay attention to what Sosa has been doing in terms of like throw selection, uh -huh. he's actually been putting a lot of emphasis on stage control and just creating some room. Yeah. You saw him get a, a, a grab on the right side of the stage at a warrior that was at 150%. Well, not 150, it was like 113. Okay. And he back threw him all the way across the stage to create the 1v1 and, you know, just keep them out, get center stage. So interesting choices by him. So using the PK fire would definitely supplement that. Yeah, definitely. But right now they're in a double edge guard situation and Reslip does not make the cut. Not at all. I want to give a sh uh, shout out to Reslip because he's doing a good job of keeping strong bad away from Sosa to let him focus on, L on LZ. Tech chase walk. Pretty good option. Oh my god. Nice magnet oh, there. Really good control of the ledge there. You know, he's like, Sosa needs to recover, and then he just immediately gets a double bear and just right. creates all the space. No pressure on him anymore. Mm. So PK Fire will activate on a. Uh, on Game Watch's forwarder, that's the best time to do it against Game Watch, in my opinion, because he has that giant extended. I guess it's a credit card. I don't know what it is, to be honest. But uh, that whole thing, that entire animation, is susceptible to get PK Fire activated, and that's pretty big. Yeah. And all of a sudden, like Blue Team had a very slight lead, but things turned around, and all of a sudden their whole stock down. Right. Reslib is just being a lot. Just being a lot smarter with how he's keeping. Yeah, he's definitely stepped it up yeah, the last couple of games. He's protecting Sosa. Great, and he's not throwing he's himself not dying. off. Yeah, <laughs> that, there you go. He's not dying. He's not throwing himself off stage. Blank Sosa deal with as LZ, and he's just giving strong bad the work. Oh, nice oh, shield. That was, that nice was really shield. good power shield. The fake DM power shield. Can't say that too loud because the melee players will come get me. Ooh. Oh, that was really good. So did you know that uh, Wario's fully charged forward tilt is stronger than Hurricane Katrina? And the uh, really quick rage quit. He knew he was dead from that, and he's just ready to move on to the next one. I'm recording some upsets. On the other side of Winner's Quarters, uh, Dadpool and Loyal beat J-Fist and Blue. Oh, wow. So really? you did not hear that. Dadpool and Loyal beat J-Fist and Blue. Very big upset. We saw Jay yeah, they, they look good. They looked really good. That pool and loyal, all, they are a team that teams consistently. But we are 2 1 right now. So, Sosa and Rez lived are up 2 1. Yeah. Zach, you have it wrong. Sosa, Rez lived are up 2 1. Yeah. I was ignoring you, Zach. I hope you realize it. Anyways, back to the match. Yeah. PS2, finally we go to a different stage. Very nice looking PS2. Shout out to the Fred for the red one. Arizona Stadium. And Sosa felt like he had to go on stage with a move. And that situation creates space for Leslie, right. who is recovering. And unfortunately, he gets hit right out of that and dies for it. But, you know, Reslev is safe. So it could be worth it. Um, Reslev was having a, a tougher time. He's usually the one down in stock. So... Creating more room for him should be pretty beneficial for the team. Yeah. Well, PS2, I think they came here because they want to just have more room for the... I think they're trying to split them, split up red team mm -hmm. and just put them in two 2v1s. Two and this, this is going to give them more room for it. There's not going to be any platforms that's going to cut down both of the Wario's mobility, but I think that's a good trade simply for the space. And this should be an edge guard opportunity. Yeah, yeah he just takes the damage. Oh, I like how Strong Bad actually tried to react to that bacon and uh, finish the edge guard for LZ. They've actually had a. Both teams have really good, like, synergy and conversions. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of double isn't just, like, knowing what your partner is going to do. If you put yourself in positions that you can react to and, like, predict what the punish is going to be, right. um, you can create opportunities regardless and just extend off of your partner's opportunities. Mm -hmm. And both teams have done a really good job of that. Um, blue team has been slightly better at it, but red team's no slouch. All right, we're gonna get down to. All right, nice game and watch parachute. I think the parachute hitting strong bad was a lot better than Sosa getting that conversion. Because who knows what could that could have led into? So I think the twenty percent is not that big. Yeah, it looked like he was setting up for a, a crossover in air, which would have sent him back to nest for another punish. Mm -hmm. So it, it would have definitely been a, a worse situation. Worse, yeah. yeah. 
We're seeing the PK fires now. Maybe Rezlev hurt me. He is using them very smartly though. He's not just throwing them out. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Bad and what was a pretty even game now is just with two stocks gone Rezlev's in a questionable situations. Rezlev isn't dying. He's doing a really good job. Oh, and there we go. Sosa saying, you know what? Nate, Nate you're wrong. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is a good sequence, and he has a waft. Yeah. Where's the punish? Not, nothing. I Misses think, the grab. Yeah. He likely would have gone a, a, for a quick forward throw on that mm -hmm. and just went back towards Game & Watch to bait out like a desperation I need to save him okay. into a waft punish. But, you know, doesn't get it. So these percent, I saw uh, Rezlev to miss a down throw conversion on Game & Watch. At higher percentages, you can down throw, run magnet. I think you have to wave bounce it, I, I believe. That's and then it. And rising up air. And mm -hmm. that should kill Game & Watch at like 80. Up really? Up. Yeah. Ness's up air, very strong. Almost as strong as Fox's up air, I believe. Yeah, it's one of those moves that, you know, it is a combo move until it kind of kills, right? Yeah. You get a lot of mileage out of It's much like Fox's up air yeah. in that sense where you're just like, oh, you combo three of them together and then the fourth one kills. And you're like, ah, oh, man. How about that? Yeah.